So this is day 25 and I am Alok Srivastava. So the objectives of the day are we will be learning about what is RDBMS Relational Database Management System. What is a MariaDB which is obviously is a RDBMS. We will be learning how to install the MariaDB database, configuring it, administering it, how to create user accounts in the database, how to give privileges or access rights, different access rights to different persons. And then finally, we will be learning about how to do a backup and restore of the databases. And if you uh, refer the Red Hat website, then this is again one of the exam objectives. Let's first understand what exactly is a RDBMS. Relational Database Management System or RDBMS is actually a DBMS database management system which is based on the relational model as being proposed by EF Cord. A person named EF Cord has proposed some rules or some uh, model. So any database which satisfy those rules is being termed as a RDBMS. So RDBMS data is structured. So how it stored the data? So RDBMS data is structured in database table, fields and records. It is how the RDBMS stores the data. And RDBMS stores the data in collection of tables. And most of the RDBMS, it can be your, your uh, Microsoft SQL Server or Oracle or MySQL or MariaDB or PostgreSQL or DB2. These are all the RDBMSs. So majority of the RDBMS, they uses SQL structured query language as database query language. Before I jump onto the installation part, which is obviously is an exam objective, let's have a very quick overview of uh, differences between the DBMS and RDBMS. So RDBMS stores the data in tabular form, whereas the DBMS stores the data in files like your Excel file. So there can be tables in DBMS. It's not necessary that you cannot have tables in DBMS. Yes, you can have tables in DBMS, but there is no relation between the tables. And in DBMS, data is generally stored in a hierarchy or in a navigational forms. Whereas in RDBMS, tables have got identifier known as something known as primary key. So once we have understood the basic things, we need to know that how to install the MariaDB and then how to secure it. Securing means removing unnecessary privileges, removing some uh, sample databases, removing root rights. So these things are like a kind of a hardening of the database. So number one thing, let's do a simple installation. So we have to do installation here. So I'm doing a yum install or I can do a group install so the whole group can be installed so that saves your time I give MariaDB sorry sorry and you also need to install MariaDB client as I will be giving some SQL command so that uh, the client application also need to be installed just install this package MariaDB and MariaDB client So the MariaDB is getting installed. Once it is installed, just start the service and make it enable so that it should be available across the reboot. MariaDB system CTL start MariaDB. Sorry, I always confuse with DB and BD. And then enable it. So that it is available after the reboot. After the reboot. So now, once this is done, so the service is started and we had enabled it. I can check the port by using the netstat command. It's simple stuff. Sorry, not in caps, not that simple. And search. Or the, I can search for MySQL or you can use SS command also. So this is running 
on port number 3306. That's fine. Now, once the package is installed, I need to make it secure. Securing means removing unnecessary privileges, removing, blocking unnecessary things so that it should be much more safer to work in a production environment. So MySQL has got a script here. You, you just need to run the script. MySQL secure install. That's it. So this is a kind of a wizard kind of thing which will just prompt you for some questions and you need to supply the answers. So a normal thing that it does is that it sets the root password, right? It removes the anonymous users. It disallows the root remote login so that you cannot log in with root from a different machine or a, another machine. You can locally do a login from root but not from a remote machine. It removes a test database which is a sample uh, database. So it should be removed in any case before you are moving your uh, server in the production environment. So let's press enter here and see this. So enter current password for root as I don't have the current password. I press enter here. Set the root password. Obviously yes. New password is Red Hat or whatever is specified. Remove anonymous users. Yes making it more secure disallow root login remotely yes remove the test database yes reload privileges yes that's all job done so you have just secured your database to a greater extent now what i can try it if you remember we had done the root no root is not allowed to do login so if I give a MySQL command, because these, this command is available because I had installed the client package. So see here, access denied. Database Red Hat, if I just simply give a P here and give the password, see here. Because I was supplying the password in the plain text that it's, it was assuming that it is a database. So just supply hyphen P prompt now you will find yourself in the MariaDB. So if I give the command show databases, you will find that there is no database named as test. So this uh, secure installation is done. That's good. We have just secured it. Now you should be knowing some basic stuff like creating a database, creating a table, inserting some values in the table, querying all the things so that we are going to do now so how can i create a database it's very simple just say create database any name say network nuts and it with a colon so if i again give the command show databases you will find a database appearing here with the name of network nuts so you can get or create a database in this manner then we should be able to use this database so if, how can I use this database it's very simple use and the name of the database network nuts so I am now inside network nuts database and if I give here show tables I don't have any tables here obviously so the next step is we will be learning how to create a table so let's see how to create a table inside a database so here i am going to create a very simple table here using the create table command so just write here create table anything any name that you wish to give say employees and then specify the type say id imp id or i can write here id also that the field name is id it is an integer value, right? And I can specify a not null. Not null means it should not be blank. You should be adding some value in it. It, it cannot be blank. I give a name. It should be a var char means a characters. And I can specify the size. Say 20 is the maximum width of the field. I can specify not null. Not null is not mandatory it is optional age is an integer 
again I give not null that means these are mandatory like asterisk red asterisk is coming up on then I can say address this is characters specify the width say 30 then I can say salary decimal so it comes in dot zero zero stuff and then you need to specify the size say 15 comma 2 right and then say I say a primary key primary key I will give ID ID is the one the employee ID is the primary key so I have to make it in braces and then close the bracket and do a semicolon so you have just created a table so if I give the command describe employees you will be able to find the my fields that I had created so you have just created a database then we have created a table inside it I can drop a table in case you don't want a table it's very simple I, I though I will not do it I'll say drop table sorry drop table and whatever the table name is so just give the table name that's all it will remove the table now the table is created next I will be I want to add some data in it isn't it because there is no data here so let me add the data and you need to specify the order see it's a primary key as I have told you that the relational database the tables have something known as the primary key which can be used to relate to the other tables so let me add a value here so I had intentionally given the describe so that I will know the order of the fields so I say insert into employees and then the in which order so I say ID name age address salary so that means SQL is expecting the values in this order values and then a bracket say employee ID 1 name Alok age 43 address is Delhi salary is 1000 and close it dot zero zero close it oh sorry oh it's a name so it has to be in quotes I'm really sorry the name has to be in quotes like Delhi need to be in quotes yeah done so I had added one row so I will add more users in the same manner say value 2 user rn age say 18 delhi say 2000 anything there it's not the actual salaries i'm just trying to show you how you can insert the data in it say 3 i say willy willy sorry not illy it's willy willy Age is say anything, say 10. So, and the location, I can change the location to say Mumbai. And say salary is 2100, like this. So, in this manner, you can keep on adding the values. So, you had added the values. Now, how can I see it? How can I see that which records are there in it so I can very simply give a select statement so using the select statement is very important so I simply give here select star means everything from employees see you will get the output so this is the table and this is the value inside the table you can have some queries also that a specific say I say I can give here select star from employees where say name equal to RN so 
in this manner you can have queries you can query us uh, from a large amount of data the where clause is used as i have just shown you that where clause is used to give your conditions or there can be numeric conditions also need not to be like this so i give the same command where say salary is greater than 2000 so only willy is coming up as the salary is greater than 2000 you can use these things you can have specific ids also not asterisks like suppose you are interested in in getting the name and the age so you can say name comma age like this where the salary is greater than whatever the condition you have specified you can do this you can have and or or condition also say i can have and or or conditions also say i'll show you so i say select star from employees where say 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 i say age is greater than 17 right say or 10 age is greater than 10 and i can use and and salary is greater than 1900 so rn is coming up as willy is 10 not greater than 10 so if i just change it to 9 greater than or equal to see here now the willy is also coming up so you can have and operator and you can also use the or operator and means both the conditions need to be satisfied i can give or also sorry so i can give this select star from employees i say where say age is greater than 20 or address is equal to mumbai that means any of this condition so alok and willy come alok is coming up because of age and willy is coming up because of the location you can use and and or so you have to be very careful uh, like smart enough to use these ands and or as you will be asked uh, to run some query on the data given so you should be able to do at least all these things should be able to create a database create a table insert some values in it select uh, doing the select queries and and or so these are the basic stuffs on of the sql so you should be able to do all these things then we will see okay uh, right now i am doing everything with a user root I want to assign or create users and want to give them specific rights. So this is assigning users and giving them the specific right is what we will do in the next section of MariaDB. But I hope this is clear and as per Red Hat website, this is a exam objective. So let's do the user creation and permissions or privileges in the next section.